from the YouTube Dojo. This is Week Not Update with Ellie Mueller, and now Jordan Sparks Warm Up Act. Ellie Connie Mueller. <laughs> Welcome to Week Not Update. I'm Ellie Connie Mueller. Where's my glass opener? A huge show tonight. Yes, indeed. I start right when I start. A7 Disc and Edit. Content Network with this, uh, Bomb Information parodies and things like that. Michael's I Cast with, uh, this is Michael's show. Baby Lamb Creations with this Mr. Archers and, uh, Classic TV Show, uh, Tribute. We got Uno Dash with this Derek McCormick show. You're going to see him later on. Neb 519 with, uh, his vigilante videos and things like that. And Lex with this, uh, gameplay. Now, here's the thing, alright? One, two, three, four, five. We got five. Count them. Five people on uh, tonight's uh, King Dig. You know, uh, other than uh, myself, of course, Adam, and MP. And we're in for a humding of a ride. You know, all I gotta say is, giddy up. Giddy up. Hey, Adam. You know who we're talking about tonight? No, Jordan Sparks. Apparently she has lost her relevancy. She hasn't made a new song in four years. That's only because she thought that singers who are getting married and expecting kids need four years off. That's a lie. Maybe because uh, pregnancy. Uh, just taking care of the baby. Because maybe you don't want to deal with King singing in, in albums while you're trying to raise your child to be a good human being and be in the child's life. Well, that's one that's thing, but mother. you do need the money. You do need the money. I mean, the diapers don't come cheap, you know. Anyway, she went back to work and record. she recorded some songs with Elijah Blake. Now, the only question I have uh, for you folks at home is, who is he? I. He is a man that came from three men. Wait. Wait, no. Wait, no. That, that, shit. shit. Okay. Stupid. Anyway, he's also going to be on a show that will air on Freeform in the very near future. The show is called Unrelated. Now, oh, wait a minute. He's about to be a star on a Freeform show. Barely anybody's watching uh, a show on basic cable. Okay. No so what? Show. So what does that mean exactly? She'll be unemployed by next June. All right. Now it's time for the top eight list. You know, a lot of things could happen within three months. Let me shoot. Just ask John Cena. Bam, 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 bam. Shut Top eggs on that job. Sparks will probably sing in the near but not future. Number eight. Help. Number seven. Let me fly. Number six. Why? 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 Number five. Am I losing my mind? Am I? Am I? I will freaking cave in your freaking beat. Number Quattro de Mayo. I need some help. He needs some. I need some milk. And some help. Number three. I have gone nuts. You smell like freaking disgusting applesauce. How? I don't know. Number two. Stop bugging me. And the number one song that joins Marks will probably sing in the future. Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. How about you shut up, you little boy? Uh, I'm sorry, we'll be right back. We got these commercials in tonight, tomorrow night. We got two major uh, sketches uh, coming up tonight. Boom. We got Captain Schema and we got Dramatic uh, Sketch coming up. Lovely. To talk to a customer, please press 1. If your boss is a jerk and you get home from work and you feel like a troglodyte, there's instant relief from this hardship and grief. Thank goodness for Nick at night.
I've been waiting here by the phone, wondering if you're ever going to call. You know you need new carpeting, and you must know where to get the best value. Empire's prices start at $6.95 a yard, installed with padding, delivery in three to four days, credit available with no installment payments for 60 days, free bristle shampoo with two rooms, even a free T-shirt with any order. So how much longer am I going to have to wait? 588 Empire! Ah, maybe this is you. Empire! Cheeseburger's back for McDonald's 30th birthday for a limited time. To all beef patties, two slices of cheese. Oh, 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 double, double cheese, cheeseburger, burger, please. It's always a good time for the great taste. Double, double cheese, cheeseburger, burger, please. Why? Well, something has something has gone on behind the scenes of the Rand Report, and well, let's just say it it was so shocking that we had to uh, show you this. Here we go. And now for a Nick at Night behind the scenes special. Good morning, everybody. This is Tim Marco speaking, and you are watching a Nick at Night behind the scenes special. A couple of weeks ago, everybody on the show entitled The Random Report was having a problem that relates to popular singer Jordan Sparks. And with me this morning, with his perspective, is one of the presenters of that program. His name is Michael Zykas, although he would like to be called Michael sometimes. And I welcome him to the broadcast this morning. Now, Michael, I am glad that you are here on this program this morning. But let me ask you this. How did the random report begin? I mean, how did it get started? Well, Kungi Mueller came up with the title. And then we started coming up with the jokes and all that stuff. At first it had a fourth wall break, but then we started making it look like a real TV show that would air early in the morning on Nick at Night. Which, now it is, because over time we managed to get a producer. And even a poet. Mm-hmm. Now... Oh. You mentioned Kungi Mueller. Who is he? Who is Kungi Mueller? Kungi Mueller is the host of Weeknight Update, a late night talk show parody that he's been doing for 10 years. Mm hmm. I see. Wait a minute. Is the Weeknight Update on YouTube? Yeah, but more recently, Nick at Night picked it up. I see. Very interesting. Well, what does it come on? 2 30 in the morning. 2 30? That's an odd hour for a show to come on. Now, your program has been on hiatus several times in the past. Why? Let's just say stuff like this happened. Mr. Rogers tried to warn us that Jordan Sparks would destroy the world. Jordan Sparks? I haven't heard that name in ages. Yep. You wouldn't believe what's going on. After four years of not producing or releasing new music due to personal reasons, she's actually making music again with someone by the name of... Elijah Blake. That's not so bad. Well, they're trying to combine the styles of 90s music with today's music. Listen. Trying? I don't think so. I'll tell you what they're really trying to do. Brainwash the entire world. Wait. Didn't she just have a child with her new husband, Dana Isaiah? Yep. Well, that explains her hiatus. She's also on a new show on Freeform called Unrelated. I just found out that when my contract is up next year, Nick at Night wants Jordan Sparks to replace me. Why didn't anybody tell me? Lorena, easy. Stay out of this, kid. Don't talk to him like that. You know what? Everything was going fine until you started appearing on Random Report. Well, I hired her. And then I confused you with her. Sweetie, it's not your fault. Her gaudiness isn't the problem. She has anger issues. You can have me on your show, but you can't tell me that Jordan Spox wants to replace me? Look, I don't know either. You didn't know either. You didn't know either? Yeah, right. You sure Dave Fashion's didn't do anything to her again? <sighs> Jordan 
button, Spox. You can go. I told you that I couldn't hang on for much longer. I told you. Well, at least I didn't go to prom with her. Or Jordan Sparks. Because <laughs> Marina's all I need. What were you guys just laughing at? It doesn't matter, because Lorraine is finally gone. So you had to see that. By the time you see this, yes, Lana Jenkins has been fired, and as a result of that musical request tape has been cancelled. Uh, I think it's time to go back to uh, week no update, but first, let's turn back to Mr. Tim Markle and the rest of the Nick at Night behind the scenes special. I'm sorry about that, but apparently, couldn't really want to want to interrupt this program with an update. And I'm grateful that he was able to do so. Well, thanks to Michael Zaycast for being on this special at this time. I would like to thank you all for tuning in as well. From all of us who work the graveyard shift here at Nick at Night, thank you for watching, and good night and good morning, everybody. This has been a Nick at Night behind the scenes special. Now, back to week night's update, Jordan Sparks Spectacular. If you suffer from the late night TV blues, it's Nick at Night for the Deja Views. All night, every night. Well, that was crazy. The sound on the phone. Well, that could only mean one thing. It's time for the captain of captains. The schemer of the steamiest scheme. Captain Schemer! This is Cap Skimmer recording 15. I am Captain Skimmer. I am the interviewer. Hey, Cap Skimmer, did you hear that Jordan Sparks is going to be on TV? What? On yeah. Freeform? Yeah. You didn't know that? Why not? But, 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 but I thought she was a singer. Yes, yeah, Captain Skimmer, she still is, but she's still trying to find something new to do. What would happen if Jordan Sparks got her own little late night talk show on television? We got no trouble. Trouble. We're just making bubbles. Bubbles. This is the place to be. Under the sea. Under, Under the sea. sea. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, that, that would, would be, be awful. awful. Oh. Oh no! Let, let's let's just go. Let's go. Let's let's go back to week nine update immediately. Amen to that. Amen to that. Kong, please help us, especially. Ah! Oh. Uh. Especially Cam Skimmer. Ow! What the hell happened there? I don't know. I guess uh, you know Captain Skimmer really uh, doesn't want uh, Jordan Sparks to also on late night talk show. <laughs> I can't blame him. At any rate, check this out. Check this out. Apparently, uh, Jordan Sparks and Elijah Blake, you know, are doing, or they have done, uh, I should say, you know, uh, music that, uh, that is in the tradition of music R and B, you know, from the nineties and things like that. Now, here's the thing, all right? This is it going turns to out. Elijah Blake is a Dominican-born maestro of, of, of alternative R&B whose experimental approach has led to a body of avant-garde solo work and writing credits for the likes of Rihanna, Keisha Cole, and Usher. Right. That seems like enough talent to have a talent like that. Okay. Now. Here's uh, what uh, Jordan Sparks had to say about uh, planning for uh, a fourth album. She you know what she said? After Baby, right. it's been really crazy because your whole world just comes, uh, just becomes about them, you know? 
Wait a minute, is it three or four? I had to spend four years. I realized that I really wanted them to see to see me do what I love because when I get to do what I love, it fulfills me and that makes me happy. When I'm happy, I'm I'm a better mom. And I'm like, wait a minute, four years. Wait a minute, the kid was born. Uh, you know what? Last year. But, but wait a minute. How did Jones Marks knew? Or how did he know that she was going to get married and have a kid four years uh, before uh, it actually happened? You don't think he is those for Something doesn't add up. Exactly. You, Last year, and this year would make the fourth year. So you could have been around for about two years before, but you didn't. Why? Unless there there was a wedding. But realistically, that would only be like three three months or so. So what were you doing in that time, ma'am? What were you doing? Hmm. Yeah. You disgust me. Now, here's the thing, alright? You know, uh, Jordan Sparks uh, says her 90s icon for uh, Whitney Houston, understandable, Mariah Carey, you know, and Brent, you know, along with Celine Dion. Alright. Well, can't go on with uh, Mariah Carey or Whitney Houston. This is gonna be long. Now, now uh, Elijah says that uh, his, uh, his icons uh, from the 90s are Brian McKnight, Eddie Powell, and Boyz II Men's uh, Wanya Morris. Alright, who's a Wanya? Uh, I think he's one of the lead singers of the group. Alright. Long story short, you know what, uh, their music, you know, the, the music that they're making together, is based on uh, all those uh, songs from the 90s. All of them. Basically, all twelve of them. Well, uh, well, I, I don't know. Like I said, right in in this topic here, I'm basically an uncultured swine. Well, anyway, now listen to this. Jordan Sparks is actually doing a, a show for Freeform. It's out unrelated. unrelated. That's right, and he so. is practically. Star, or practically one of the stars. So she's a star of an unrelated show. Yeah, and uh, she apparently, and her character actually has a half sister. And they have to figure out how to go, how she and her so. half sister have to go from strangers uh, to family members. And they were thrown into uh, one another's lives by an online genetics. Long story short, you know what, uh, so. the whole show is going to be uh, executive produced by uh, Aisha Carr. Hey, don't ask me. Ask me for one. That's uh, the number that's uh, bringing the show together. Apparently, Jordan Sparks' uh, co-star is uh, Gigi uh, Dumbad. No. So a random test online said that those two were sisters. Apparently. Not like a marriage happened or some kind of, oh, your long lost sister or some shit. Nah. Just a random goddamn test that they decided to take. Well, and they decided to just get up and meet each other. Yep. So it worked. On the show. I'm done. Alright folks, well, that's the show for tonight. My thanks to Uno Dash, Babylon Creations, Microsoft Cast, Netflix, Nine, Lex! Oh my goodness gracious! 
Adam, MP, and all of you folks for watching at home. You know, Monday's going to be a real humdinger as well. You know, uh, of course, uh, Adam's going to be uh, at uh, camp uh, for about a week. So, uh, so it's just going to be you. It's just going to be you, me, you know, uh, Captain Schemer, and all the rest. So, stay tuned uh, for the show's coming up uh, beginning on Monday. That's the news. I'm out, Ski. Swirl, 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 swirl.